More than 700 delegates from around 70 countries were present at the 12th Eurasian Media Forum in Astana, the capital of Kazakhstan. Famous politicians, journalists and top media executives discussed a wide range of topics, from global crisis to country branding. During the year we analyze events which most of all appear in the media and which provoke a lot of emotion. We collect information, analyze it and draw up a program for the forum. Iran's nuclear program, Eurasian integration, globalization, the multipolar world. Famous think tanks from all over the world share their opinions. Questions included how does globalization affect reality in the 21st century and is there a new global order? From one delegate, a pessimistic point of view. Well, I don't think there is a new global order. I think there is an emerging world technology and I think that there is an emerging uh, world economy. But I think the politicians and the governments are generations behind that and I think you'll see more disorder than order over the next 50 years and we need to learn how to manage the disorder so it doesn't cause major damage. Everyone in the hall could join the discussions and there were some incisive questions from the audience. This forum is a platform for a battle of opinions with many speakers diametrically opposed in their thinking leading to robust discussions. The Middle East tinderbox, who holds the key to resolving the conflict in Syria, was the title of one of the discussions. Alessandro Minuto Rizzo is the former Deputy Secretary of NATO and the author of the book A Political Journey Without Maps, Diversity and Future in the Greater Middle East. The Syrian crisis is almost impossible to solve just because the Syrian state is a fragile reality. You have many ethnic groups, many established traditions which are not really unified. I think that frankly in the end is the Syrian people who own the keys of their own future, you know. It's very difficult for anybody else to interfere. The role of the global media with its 24-hour rolling news channels focusing on every detail of global conflicts has changed the 21st century. That was the view of one of the delegates. People are aware of every disaster on earth. Tsunami in uh, Indonesia comes to every home within hours, but especially wars. From war to war it became more clear that leaders will have to take into account the sensitivity of their own public to the price of war. The tsunami of social media has hit a new generation, many of whom don't even have a landline at home. Could it really replace newspapers, magazines, radio and television, even though some believe it could happen most analysts doubt it will. So I don't think social media is, is evil by any stretch of the imagination, but I do think you need to be careful in describing some tweeting as journalism, because I'm not sure it is journalism. Um, re Old-fashioned reporting has a role to play. Internet and social media played a crucial role in the election of President Barack Obama. One of the delegates at the Eurasia Forum, Roger Fisk, created the strategy that helped the U.S. president win two elections. For the first time ever in at least American political history, we invited people to come into our website and create a profile and import their contacts, and then we allowed them to use our website as a tool to actually not only just get news about our political activity, but give them the tool so that they could go out and create their own political activity. It was called MyBarackObama.com. Simon Anholt is an image maker for nations. He once invented the term national branding. He has advised dozens of heads of states and governments on how to create an image for their own country. He's sure that a good image is a synonym of a good life in that particular country and insists self-publicity is a waste of money. We live in an age of enormous challenges. Climate change, uh, nuclear proliferation, terrorism, uh, all of these issues, human rights, women's rights, children's rights, any country if it takes one of those issues and it demonstrates that it is making some progress on that issue, will quickly earn a good reputation. This cross-fertilization of opinions aims to look into the future of our world. Preparations for next year's forum have already begun.